Now we are going to check few programs on two dimensional arrays. In the first program for it, we are going to accept a m by n matrix from user and reprint it. As we have seen in the theory lecture that in case of matrices or when we use two dimensional arrays, these are your rows and these are your columns. So in the program, I have declared a matrix of five by five, that is five rows and five columns. So technically we have five multiplied by five, 25 integer values that this array can store. Then I'm asking user to enter values of m and n so that that he can choose to have matrix of variable size like 3 by 2, 3 by 1 or 4 by 5 and so on but not more than 5 because maximum size that our array can store is 5 by 5. How to have this dynamic we'll check that later on but to keep things simpler I have created a matrix of 5 by 5 for current scope. So after entering values of m and n using this code block, we can accept values for all array elements. Suppose user has entered 3 and 3 as values of m and n. So the first loop that will be executed for rows and second loop will be executed for columns. So for every row, this loop will be executed, which will internally iterate through columns. So inside of second for loop using the scanf we are going to store values of array elements so this is your row and this is your column so the first value that will be scanned will be zero zero row so this is zero row and this is zero column similarly zero row and first column zero row and second column and that will complete your this for loop so value of i will be incremented and the next row will be scanned so one zero one 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 two will be scanned and similarly in the final iteration 2021 and 22 will be scanned so these are nothing but your array locations that can be accessed using values of i and j as index variables so whatever user enters in this kind of statement will be stored at this location so suppose user has entered 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 and 90 so this is my 3 by 3 matrix and then in order to print the matrix again we need the similar for loop so here's the loop for rows here's the loop for columns and we're just simply going to print array of ij so that each elements in this sequence one two three four five six seven eight nine will be printed notice that after printing a row i have written slash n so that once a row is printed the cursor will move on to the next line with the help of this slash n so you'll get the complete picture how your matrix will look on the screen important thing to notice over is that asking values from the user we are using ampersand a of ij and at the time of printing we are using simply a of ij